Praise God. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's wonderful to be here today again. I'm Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Utman, and I'll be bringing you the word of the Lord today. I'll be speaking today on durable riches. Durable riches is the subject I'll be talking about today, and I believe the Lord will bless you mightily as we go into the world, and the world will enrich your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. What is durable riches? Durable riches is about how to have wealth and acquire riches with, in a righteous and godly way. How to be blessed, how to be prosperous, how to live in wealth according to God's plan. Riches is defined as a state of being wealthy, healthy, and having abundance. So we can define riches as a state of being wealthy, a state where you have uh, health because health is wealth so when you are healthy and having abundance jesus came to give us abundance and we need to know the abundance of christ and riches means to be in a state of prosperity a state of prospering and being successful my desire my prayer for you is that you should be successful you should be prosperous and the lord gave us a test in the bible luke chapter 12 verse 16 and he speak a parable unto them saying the good the ground of a certain man a certain rich man brought forth a plentifully the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully so is a rich man by that definition the man was rich but in verse 21 jesus said the man was a fool but because he is not rich towards god so the riches was there, but he had no durable riches. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. So is he that, verse Luke chapter 12, verse 21 says, So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards God. So being rich is that we must be rich in God. And so prosperity should not exclude God. Now riches is an opposite of poverty. When you are rich, you have what you can afford what you want. You can buy what you want to buy. And you can live where you want to live and be happy with yourself, happy with your family, happy with your spouse, happy with your children, happy with all that God has given to you. So being rich is to have abundance. And I pray that you will have God's abundance in your life. God's riches will come upon you in a very special way. More than that, we see that there are 10 things I want to share about, about being rich. 10 things I want us to look at. I may not have the time to put all the Bible references I would have loved to share because of space of time, but I want to assure you that these 10 riches, if you can tell facts about being rich, will give you a durable riches that will not be temporary. Now, you must know that riches has wings. Money, wealth has rich a uh, wing. So riches does not last forever. You must know that to make money and uh, you need to keep money. You know you must know how to make money and you must also know how to keep money. Two things about it. Money has wing with which it fly. I want you to see the, the scripture in Proverbs 23, verse 5 say, Without set thy eyes upon that which is not. For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. So riches, wealth, can fly away. We have seen some people that were very rich before, and all of a sudden they become poor. We have seen people who won jackpots, and all of a sudden they lost all they had. And we have seen people who just suddenly came into wealth and they didn't know what to do about it. And before you know it, they lost all they had. And sometimes some went into bad investment and they lose their money. So riches as wing with which you fly. So you must have an attitude that you must know how to keep money. I had two friends that were contractors in my part of the world and they won contracts. Both of them won initial contracts and one had a saving culture. And he was saving as he's investing on the project, he's saving. And at the end of the day, he had had some money saved. After the contract, he was still having a lot of money that he had saved for himself. 
and he, he really planted money on properties and other things he had a saving culture he reinvested the money that he made profit with so many people do not know the the fact of reinvesting and saving culture so you must have a saving culture you must have an attitude that not was you have money or make money but you must know how to put money aside and how to reinvest your money and now you don't need to spend more than your income have an attitude that no matter how you earn don't let the credit card bring you into problem you must know how to control your expenses you must know how to bring your budget under control and your desires under control riches is not forever that's the fact you must know money may come to you today it may not come tomorrow and there are there's there's always a dry time and there's a wet time there's seasons in life and so there can be seasons of abundance and there can be seasons of scarcity so you must learn that when the riches are money are coming to you wealth are coming to you learn to save learn to reinvest and learn to replant again not spending all on pleasure not spending all and expensive things that are insignificant that are not durable and sometimes they do not even have value some of the things you spend money on may not have value proverbs 27 verse 24 says for riches are not forever and that the crown nor that the crown endure for every generation so riches is not forever that is a fact you must know number one fact i want you to know is that riches is not forever and so you must know that you must save for tomorrow riches is not forever riches as wing number one riches is not forever number two then number three beware of ill-gotten riches don't lie don't take advantage of others don't be a froster to be a thief or a criminal does not give you a durable riches you cannot be rich by by robbing others or by stealing from others or by taking advantage of others through dishonest means you cannot be rich the bible says in jeremiah 17 verse 11 as a portrait seated on an egg and hatched them not so he that getteth riches and not by right shall lead them in the midst of his days and at his end shall be a fool i pray you will not be a fool a lot of people are in jail who had acquired wealth and they are not able to spend it. Some are even killed in the process because they are trying to enrich themselves in an illegitimate way. Don't enrich yourself illegitimately. Work for your money and let your money be something that is legitimate, that is right, that you are confident about. So beware of ill-gotten riches. Number four, don't trust in riches. Yes, don't trust in riches. Riches is not something you have to trust in. You can't trust in money. Trust God. Trust God who is the supplier of all things. Let your trust be in God. And number five, riches can be uh, uncertain. Riches can be uncertain. So you need to know about that. Riches cannot, uh, sometimes riches is not certain. Riches cannot be, you can't guarantee that this wealth will always be there. And uh, you must be rich towards God. Number six, you must be rich towards God. You must be rich towards God. Let God be the source of your riches. Let God and faith in God be the source of your riches. Number seven, let me tell you simply, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, make it clear that riches come from god and god empower people to become wealthy he says but thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which is swear unto thy fathers as it is this day god give the power to get wealth god give the power for riches god enrich people god give all the grace the craftiness the wisdom to be rich so acquire riches by the wisdom of God. You acquire riches through the wisdom that God gives you. Now, the another passage I want us to know, number eight, is that riches and wealth are created in our mind. Sometimes your mindset is going to enrich you even when you don't have money. 
you know, riches comes from a mindset. And so you have a mindset that is negative. When your mindset is negative towards riches and wealth, you cannot be rich. When you have wrong thinking, wrong, wrong thinking will give you wrong product. And so when you think wrongly, and when you are thinking negatively about riches and wealth, you will not be able to have a good mindset for riches. So have a good mindset. Your thinking determines your riches. And is, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. You attract what you think about. What you think about will find its way to you. Your thinking of prosperity will bring prosperity to you. Your thinking of failure will make your life a failure. What you think about is what you attract into your life. You are where you are today by the way you think yesterday. So always think right. Always think positively. Always think in the right direction. And your thinking will attract good things to you. That this is another subject for another day. Your thinking will attract what you desire. Number nine, your confession determine your possession. What a man say with his mouth is going to be what he will be. If you say, I am poor, you will be poor. And so don't force yourself. Don't speak negative things to yourself. Stop saying, poor me. I am a poor person. No, you are not poor. Now start thinking and start saying the right thing to yourself. Start speaking the right thing to your system. Start speaking the right thing to your environment. Start speaking positive words to yourself, to your circumstances. Jesus said, if you believe and you say it with your mouth, you shall have whatsoever you say with your mouth. So what you are saying will surely come to pass. And uh, the Bible says that thou as near, Proverbs chapter 6, verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 2, it says, Thou as near by the words of your mouth. You are taking captives by your words. So you must be careful of the words you speak. The words you speak will find its way in your life, in your situation, in your circumstances. So begin to speak right. Speak positive words to yourself. Speak positive words to your environment. Speak what positive work to your business. Call money. Money will come to you. Now, number 10, your giving determines your wealth. So many people are, want to be rich and without knowing that riches is supposed to be spread out. You cannot be rich and be happy without giving. When you give to others, your riches will increase. When you give, and Luke chapter 6, verse 30, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over, shall men turn into your bosom. So learn to give. Be a giver. Be a helping hand to somebody. Help people that are in need. Help people that are distressed. Be of comfort to somebody. Be a helping hand. And you, your riches will be durable. And the hand that give is always at the top. The giver's hand is at the top. Help those who are in need. Give towards charity. Give to the poor. Give to the church. Give to the needy. Give to those who are hurting. Give to those who are in distress. Help others and God will make a help for you. You are blessed because the Lord will make you rich. Father, I commit my brothers and my friends to your hand. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that you will bless them and you will show your kindness upon them. You will bless the work of their hand and you will increase them. I release financial grace upon your life. I pray that your increase will come. Every power working against your finances, I banish them in the name of Jesus. I decree that the heavens over you be open and the Lord favor you and bless you. God bless you. Thank you for listening and watching.